Hi, I'm Kat Dillon, registered holistic nutritionist and chef, and today I'm going to show you some acorn squash recipes. Acorn squash with sun-dried tomatoes and feta cheese. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, acorn squash. Before you buy it, you want to make sure you feel it and make sure it's heavy and it doesn't have any discolorations like anything brown that looks like it's moldy. So that's one thing. These beautiful things are very high in carotenoids, which are wonderful to um, fight cancer risk as well as type 2 diabetes, so really great thing. And let me go through the ingredients here that I'm going to be putting in there. We've got some olive oil here for greasing the um, skins of the acorn squash. We've got some pre-made caramelized onions. I have about two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I've got about six chopped sundry tomatoes. And I've got a couple of tablespoons here of fresh chopped basil. Got here about a cup of uh, fresh crumbled feta cheese. It could be sheep, goat, or cow. Okay, so let's start breaking down the squash. All you're gonna do is take a heavy duty knife. It can be a cleaver or a uh, chef's knife. Be real careful when you do this, but make sure that you've got your little tips cut off here. If they're too hard, don't worry about it. Just make sure you look for the center part of the acorn squash and make like a little incision here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a towel, place it right on top, and if you can't manage, that's no problem. You're just going to take a little cleaver here, and there you got it. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is making a little base. So making a little base is really easy. You're just going to take your knife and just do a little incision there so the squash stands right up, just like that. These are really big acorn squashes, by the way. The ones you normally see are a little bit smaller and easier to work with. So there you've got your squash halves. Now we're just going to spoon out the seeds. All you're going to do is just gently take your spoon and just get those seeds out. That's it. So now I'm going to brush the squash halves with a little bit of, of the oil and also brush the bottom of the Pyrex. Place the squashes back in. Pour water into the Pyrex to come up to about halfway. And now we're ready to stick them into the oven. These will take about roughly 45 minutes, depending on size. Take them about 350 degrees and make sure you check them. They should be um, kind of soft to the to touch. You might want to stick a little knife in there to make sure that they're soft and it, uh, it feels like they're ready. So here I have my squash that are tender. You don't want to overcook them. Just make sure that they're cooked through. I'm scooping out most of the cavity, but if you'll notice, I'm not scooping everything out because I still want it to have a bit of a body to it so it'll actually remain um, stable. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to add my caramelized onions, my sundry tomatoes, my feta, some of my herbs, a little bit of the butter, and I'm going to mix that up. Remember, always add a little bit of seasoning, so salt and pepper. After that's incorporated, you want to scoop it right back into the shell. And we're going to bake them once again for about 10 minutes at 350. And if you want to get those tops nice and golden, you might want to put them under the broiler for maybe three to five minutes. Keep an eye on them. And we're done. The acorn squash stuffed with sun-dried tomatoes and feta cheese. All I've done here is I've plated them together, two halves, garnished with a little sun-dried tomato. And make sure you save a little bit of your fresh basil for the top. Mm -hmm.